Okay, so uh, I am trying out this Amsoil engine and transmission flush today. So just to let you know, I used a brand new oil filter and uh, brand new oil. Sorry, I just placed a mess right now. I've been trying to get a big job. Uh, anyways, so I put it in with, like I said, new oil, new filter, um, and we'll see how it does. I'm going to try and switch this to Amsoil. So real quick, I got this truck, had 210,000 miles in it. I did a royal purple oil change with an STP extended filter, extended light filter. Swapped that filter out at 5,000 miles, drained out the oil. Looked pretty grody, kind of funky. Uh, I set a timer. As soon as I started this thing up, it's going to run for 15 minutes. When 15 minutes elapses, uh, I am going to drain the oil and just kind of see what it looks like. And who knows? Might look crazy, might look normal, might look like brand new clean oil. We'll just have to see what it looks like. But the oil I'm going to be taking out of here is brand new. And it's, I just put this stuff in. So we'll see what it looks like. If it comes out black and nasty, that was all, oh boy, yeah. Uh, crud that was on the inside of this engine. Okay, so uh, I, I completely cleaned out my oil container. It is clean in there. And we are going to see what the oil looks like. Hold well, on, let's turn the camera on here. Or the light. There we go. All right. Ugh. And this is after a 15 minute flush with brand new oil. Let's see what it looks like. Well, it actually doesn't look that bad. It's dark. It's a lot darker than it was. Yeah, that, that, I mean, it's not bad, but a little warm. Anyway, so I'll get this done, and I'll look at the oil when I get it done. But yeah, new oil, new filter, and I'll replace the filter in a second. Alright, so this is AMS oil with the flush kit with brand new oil. Let's look at the oil. That's way too dark for just 15 minutes of runtime. Wow. And this was clean. So that's kind of surprising just being 15 minutes of running. That does not look like new golden almost clear oil. So it did something. Little debris in here too. Remember I wiped this out. Huh. Yeah. Like little balls of gunk or something. That's odd. Never seen that in an oil change before. Yeah. That definitely did something. So I've had actually about a day since I've done the trans engine flush with the AMS oil engine and transmission flush and at first I kind of thought well you know maybe the oil that I originally pulled out was so bad and dirty um, that maybe that leftover could have darkened it a little bit which maybe that might have contributed but that oil just seemed way darker than uh, for fi than 15 minutes of runtime would allow the second thing is my oil pan I completely wiped out with a rag 100% so I mean it was really clean in there so I dumped the oil out at the bottom of the, what do you call it, at the bottom of the oil pan, after I had gotten rid of the oil, there was this debris, and it was really, really strange. It was, um, it was almost like it looked like grease had sat in a bath of oil, is what it kind of felt like, because I, I took a little bit up and I, I smushed it against my fingers to, like, what is that? Is that metal particulates? You know, what is that? And um, I think it was just a really you know, like a gunk buildup or something, that that 
oil flush somehow got out of there. So, uh, anyways, backstory on this real quick. You can skip the end of the video if you don't care. Um, but I bought a truck, a really old truck, had 210,000 miles on it. Really nice truck, but it was just older, and I didn't know what the care on it was. So I ran for 5,000 miles an oil change with Royal Purple and uh, just regular oil filter. No, excuse me. It was a STP Extended Life oil filter. It's good for like 15,000 miles or something. But I wanted the extra filtration capacity because I didn't know what, what was in that engine. I pulled the Royal Purple out, and it was black, really black. I was kind of surprised at how black it was. Um, and the filter, when I pulled out, was really heavy. Even after I turned it upside down and let it drain, I picked it back up to, like, you know, how much grime, you know, is in this. It was really heavy. So, I mean, obviously the Royal Purple did something. But I wanted to run something through the vehicle before I put AMS oil in, because AMS oil... Um, and quick shout out, by the way, to, I think it's Todd at Project Farm. He kind of taught me here. He kind of led me on to how good amsoil has been. Um, and yeah, this is kind of, anyways, Todd at Project Farm. If you haven't gone to that YouTube channel, check it out. It's an awesome YouTube channel for sure. Um, but anyways, I used the flush kit and I used a new oil and new oil filter. And I mean, it was significantly darker after just 15 minutes. And like I said, there's those little bits of debris at an engine that I don't know how well it was taken care of. Uh, but I had 210,000 miles on it. <laughs> and it pulled out. I mean, on, you saw in the video that oil got really dark. Uh, way darker than it should have for just 15 minutes of red time. And what was really hard, and I knew I couldn't show it on the camera, but it was this weird little, like, pellets, all maybe the size of half a BB of debris that was left on the bottom of the oil oil pan and again I had already wiped out my oil pan made sure it was clear so that came from the engine so it does work you know I don't know how I, I don't know exactly the whole history of the engine but I knew to know it was at least a little boogered up and that engine flush stuff it really did it worked and I also noticed but this might have just been because it was an oil change but my engine seemed to run it a little bit smoother afterwards which uh, that kind of surprised me but yeah um, check out I think it was Todd's work at Project Farm on his YouTube channel. That's what led me to do this and, like, test the Amazon out. So I'm trying out Amazon now. Um, but, yeah, I, I hope this was informative. But, yeah, I used new oil and new oil filter with the engine flush. And then I replaced it with the uh, oil and a big monstrous filter I bought at Napa. It's, like, way bigger than what my vehicle needs. Um, peace out, and uh, I hope it was helpful and informative. And, obviously, the Amazon engine flush does something.